Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're going to take a look at the Armor X mounting system for the iPhone 6 Plus. Keep in mind, while I'm reviewing the 6 Plus version of this case, the same kind of system is available for the iPhone 6 as well. So what this is is a way to mount your phone in a variety of different places using a variety of different mounts. So it starts with the case, and there are actually a few cases to choose from. This is the shockproof mount case, which sells for $34.90 and comes in four different colors. Now inside the packaging is the case itself and a belt clip style holster, as well as some instructions and a sticker. So you get all that included. And let's start with the case itself, which is kind of where this all begins or comes together. And this is a hybrid style design, which has this honeycomb pattern on the inside for shock and impact protection. It is two pieces. There is a softer kind of TPU layer, which comes out, pop it out like that. And then this back plate. So to put this on your phone, I'll bring my six plus into frame. You pop in the bottom section first of the TPU and then the top, it's kind of molded over like that. Once you have that all ready to go, you take this back plate, put the button side on first, the volume button side on first, and then click the home or the sleep awake button. I'm getting all my buttons confused this morning. Put the sleep awake button part over second and then there you go. There's the finished installation. So what you get from the beginning is a very protective case. It does have a good amount of lay on the table protection as you can see. Um, there's a lip that comes up higher than the glass. There are three cutouts along the bottom, one for the speaker, one for the lightning port, and one for the headset jack and mic, and another cutout on the side for the mute switch, which is no problem getting into there and accessing that switch. These volume buttons, as well as the sleep awake button, give good tactile feedback when you press on them. And then on the back, you have a cutout for the camera, the secondary mic, and flash. We'll get to this part in a second. There is a kickstand here as well. However, for me, it's like very hard to get it open. I can really, um, I have to pry my finger in there to get it and there you go, it pop. And that actually hurt a little bit. I imagine once I use this more, um, it would become easier to use, but there you go. You can prop up your phone into a nice convenient angle for watching movies and doing other things. And when you're done, you just tuck that kickstand out of place and it locks back in. Now this section right here is where the mounting portion of the case comes into play. And it does have this rubber insert when you're not using a mount, you can leave that in. When you are um, using it, you're gonna wanna take it out or you could just leave it out forever if you want. So let's slide the case out to the side for a second and bring in a couple of the mounts because uh, Armor X sent along two. Uh, this one here is the X14 suction cup mount, which sells for $24.90. And this one is the X15 mini suction cup mount, and that sells for $19.90. And here's the beauty of this. There are like dozens of mounts on the Armor X website, and the case works with all of them. So I just briefly want to show you this one and the other one, of course, and um, so how sh to show you how this whole system works. But basically, the smaller one comes with an extension arm if you want it. You have to put it all together, but once it's all together, like I said, it's a suction cup style mount that you can put you know, in your car or on your desk or really just about anywhere and you can see that's locked into place. It has several adjustment points here and here so if you wanna move this around, but basically I wanna get it so you guys can see how the clip works. Maybe there will be a good angle. But basically you can already see that this notch is gonna line up with the back of the case. So if I, if I slide it on, and again, I wanna, I wanna do it so you guys can see it. If you slide it on and in, you'll see it locks itself into place. So just like that, and then slide till it clicks, and then you're able to mount this, if I put it back down, kind of wherever you want. And again, this is adjustable. You can move it um, a full 360 degrees. You've got tightening knobs here and here to adjust the angle of it. And it's a really nice, small, compact mount. When it comes time to release your phone, um, let me get this back off so I can do that. It's hard to do it through the camera. You simply press on this little release switch and then slide your phone off. So that's the smaller of the mounts. And then they also sent along this larger one, which comes with both an iPad and a iPhone mount for their cases. And I forgot to take the plastic off this one. Well, you'll get the general idea. So to release this, you just pull up here. And again, this has more adjustments here. It's an arm here that I can crank this up higher, but you can see it has the same kind of clip there for the mounting system that 
when you're ready to use it, you just lock it in place like so, and then you can swivel this around into kind of any position you want, um, whether it's moving it from side to side in your car or up and down, depending on how you want it to position itself in your vehicle. You can move it any which way. So the, the Armor system, and I really call it a system, the Armor X system consists of a lot of different things. I mean, you start out with your case and then you can pick mounts and they don't just have these suction cup style mounts. They have mounts for your bike or your snowboard or your boat or just about anywhere you can imagine, anywhere you wanna take your phone and have it safely mounted out of the way so you can be hands-free, not only to concentrate on your activity, but you know, capture footage at the same time, they're gonna have the mount for you. So you can learn more about the Armor X mounting system via the link I'll have in the video description. I'll also have a link down there to my full review of this over on runaroundtech.com. As always, if you have any questions about this or anything else, drop me a line down below. Otherwise, have a great day. Thank you.